Get ready to journey through the marvelous galaxies, where celestial wonders and incredible beings await. Brace yourself for a cosmic adventure like no other as we traverse breathtaking nebulas, encounter awe-inspiring alien worlds, and witness the clash of mighty heroes and fearsome villains. Get ready to be captivated by the limitless marvels that lie beyond our imagination, as we dive headfirst into the vast expanse of the marvelous galaxies, let's dive in, Andromeda Galaxy on a bright, moonless night, far from any city lights, we may see thousands of stars twinkling above us when we gaze up. These stars, however, make up a very small fraction of the Milky Way galaxy, which is where we live in the universe. There are hundreds of billions of other stars in the night sky beyond what humans can see, and there are billions of additional large galaxies beyond the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy, which is our sister galaxy and the farthest object most of us can view without the use of a telescope, is that brilliant smudge of light in the distance. It is about 2.5 million light years away from Earth, a truly enormous distance. Fortunately, though, this simulation allows us to move faster than light. In the blink of an eye, we can exit our solar system, currently, all that remains of the planet on which every single human has ever lived is a small speck. The sun is but one star among many brilliantly lit specks. However, to fully appreciate the Milky Way galaxy's size, we must ascend more than 500 light years, which will enable us to witness our galactic home in all its splendor. A barred spiral galaxy, the Milky Way is 13.6 billion years old. A disc-shaped structure with a diameter of more than 100,000 light years can be observed in the cosmos, created by long, pivoting arms that reach out over the universe. It's astounding to consider that the Sun is merely one among the innumerable stars that make up this galaxy. Nevertheless, the number of stars in it has been predicted to range from 100 billion to 400 billion. Look into the distance and you will notice numerous enigmatic glowing dots as we travel more and farther from the Milky Way's brilliant brilliance. These are whole galaxies that are dispersed throughout the universe that can be seen. You might have noticed that the galaxies are not haphazardly strewn about, but are instead gathered in gravitationally bound clusters and spaced apart by enormous dark voids, giving the cosmos a wonderful cobweb-like structure. There are at least 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, but there may be trillions, and they are all different sizes and shapes. However, the majority of these galaxies are so far away that only extremely large telescopes can view them. However, certain stars are sufficiently close to the Milky Way, in cosmic terms, to be included in the so-called local group. More than 30 galaxies are contained in this enormous cluster, which spans an area of roughly 10 million light years. The Andromeda Galaxy, which we are currently traveling toward, is the largest of the three sizable galaxies in the local group. The Milky Way is not named after the Andromeda constellation, which itself is named after the Ethiopian princess who, in Greek mythology, was saved from impending death by the hero, Perseus. The spectacular cosmic structure is located in the region of the Earth's sky from which it can be observed. Andromeda, like the Milky Way, is a barred spiral galaxy with large encircling arms that are rich in gas, dust, and brilliant stars but with a diameter of more than 200,000 light years, Andromeda is a good deal larger than the Milky Way. More stars are thought to be present, perhaps as many as a trillion. A mystery supermassive black hole with a diameter of 516 million miles, 830 million kilometers, or larger than Jupiter's orbit, is said to be hidden in the center of that brilliant bulge. There are 140 million suns worth of mass in it, Sagittarius A asterisk, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, has just 4 million suns worth of mass in comparison. It is gigantic, this supermassive black hole. But more than just individual stars circle the nucleus of this massive galaxy, the satellite galaxy M110, which is the bright yellowish object just off to the side, is one of many that are gravitationally tied to Andromeda. Although the stars in these less massive galaxies are spectacular and revolve around their own centers, the galaxies and everything inside them also circle Andromeda. Similar to how the Earth and Moon both orbit the Sun while the Moon orbits the Earth, there won't always be a 2. 5 million light-year distance between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. Because of their impending collision, which will ultimately change the makeup of each galaxy. 
It is predicted that the collision will start in around 4.5 billion years since the galaxies are moving toward one another at a speed of about 70 miles per second, or 112 kilometers per second. While it may appear that this collision would only result in devastation, galaxy mergers frequently trigger intense bursts of star formation that fill the night sky with brand new, brilliant stars. Sadly, though, it is unlikely that humanity will live long enough to witness this magnificent cosmic spectacle. We can go outside on a clear night and look up into the sky today, regardless of what we will miss in the future. Find Andromeda in the constellation, then the galaxy, and be amazed with the only object we can see with our unassisted eyes that isn't a component of the Milky Way. However, that will eventually merge with our galaxy to form a new galaxy called the Milcometa Galaxy. Did you have fun traveling to Andromeda? If so, please share your thoughts in the space provided below. Why not embark on a grand journey to the center of the Milky Way galaxy if you want to learn more about the cosmos? Are you prepared for your upcoming adventure? Check out this taster of what to anticipate. Simply click the video link there. Majestic Sombrero Galaxy, M104, M104, the Sombrero Galaxy, also known as NGC 4594, is one of the most well-known galaxies outside of the Andromeda Galaxy, and you've probably seen it in astronomy books. The galaxy is almost edge-on visible, and the entire observable disk is covered in a lane of dark dust. A supermassive black hole in the galaxy's core, which many astronomers believe to be the cause of the galaxy's strong emission of radiation, is thought to be responsible for the galaxy's unusual shape. But why did the Sombrero Galaxy take on this shape? Was it always like this? Let's get to the bottom of this. M104 is located at a distance of 29.3 million light years and is about 50,000 light years across. The largest object in the constellation of Virgo, this floating ring the size of a galaxy is called the Sombrero because it appears in the visible range as an elliptical shaped bright cloud with a dark matter edge. This picture shows the infrared glow that the Spitzer Space Telescope captured. The image was digitally sharpened, and a Hubble Telescope optical image was superimposed on it. The Sombrero Galaxy really doesn't resemble other galaxies based on the images. Where is that Mexican who might know the answer? It looks like he's hiding in the nebula. Let's try to figure it out then. According to modern classification as we understand it, the formation of galaxies is thought to be a normal stage in the evolution of the universe that occurs under the influence of gravitational forces. This view of the galaxy actually does resemble a hat, which is why it was called the Sombrero Galaxy. Logic suggests that at the initial stage of the evolution of galaxies, particles of dust and gas began grouping together, fusing, colliding, and consequently clusters appeared, which subsequently developed into something massive. The variety of galaxy shapes is associated with a variety of initial conditions for the formation of the galaxies. The accumulation of hydrogen gas within the confines of these clusters became the first stars, but how come the sombrero doesn't look like any of the categories of galaxies? At least, that's how it seems at first glance. The fact is, straight away, this object consists of two different types of galaxies, most likely an elliptical and a spiral, and unlike any other instances, their interlacing is incredibly well-balanced and accordingly looks so beautiful. In addition, the sombrero is oriented edgewise to the observer on Earth, so astronomers find it difficult to categorically determine the shape of this cluster as a whole. Perhaps from the other side of the galaxy, the sombrero looks completely different, but there is a second, no less curious hypothesis, which suggests that about 9 billion years ago, the accumulation of gas the cluster received from intergalactic space caused the head of galactic proportions to be formed. Be that as it may, before us is a mystery in one of the most beautiful of the galaxies. What do we know about it, despite being so far away from us, 28 million light years, the sombrero is traveling away from us at a rate of 1000 kilometers per second. It is located in the constellation of Virgo. The sombrero galaxy, also known as M104, was first observed by astronomers in the 18th century. Their ability to see it was aided by the galaxy's bright radiance that extends millions of light years all around it. This object has a massive mass, in fact, 
Some estimates place its weight at 800 billion suns. This enormous mass is caused by the galaxy's countless stars as well as the vast string of dust that envelopes the galaxy. Even now, astronomers of all levels continue to be amazed by the structure of the Sombrero Galaxy. The image shows the bright halo of stars and globular clusters, as well as the distinct dark lanes of dust that indicate what is happening in the spiral galaxy's center due to the galaxy's abundance of gas and dust clouds, enormous hot newborn stars, and dazzling blue giants, which are responsible for the galaxy's blue emission. The Sombrero Galaxy's vigorous star creation processes are discussed. If you look closely at the focal focus of this image, the globular clusters, you can detect several small pinpoint sources of light. Astronomers still do not fully understand the magnificent dust filaments of M104, which obscure many of the young, bright stars and have a very complex structure. The very center of the Sombrero galaxy emits radiation in all parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Evidence points to a supermassive black hole with a mass of 1 billion suns in the center of the Sombrero galaxy. If desired, the galaxy can even be seen with an amateur telescope. All that is needed to do is point it at the southern edge of the Virgo cluster, and the galaxy will appear clearly. This information has been confirmed by data from the Hubble Space Telescope, which has recorded the extremely fast rotation of the stars in the center of Sombrero. In addition, the central portion of the galaxy is emitting an abnormally large quantity of X-rays, which may also indicate the presence of a black hole at its core, Black Eye Galaxy. The Black Eye Galaxy, also known as Messier 64 or M64, is a stunning spiral galaxy located approximately 17 million light-years away from Earth in the constellation Coma Berenices. It gets its name from the prominent dark band of dust that appears to encircle its bright nucleus, resembling a black eye, the galaxy's distinctive feature, the dark band, is actually a region of obscuring dust in the galaxy's disk. This dust lane is believed to be the result of a past interaction or merger with a smaller companion galaxy, which caused the disruption of the black eye galaxy's structure. As a result, the galaxy exhibits an asymmetrical appearance with one side appearing more twisted and chaotic than the other. M64 has an estimated mass similar to that of our Milky Way galaxy and spans about 40,000 light-years in diameter. It is classified as a Type II spiral galaxy, indicating the presence of a central bar-like structure extending across its nucleus. The galaxy is known for its active star formation, and regions of bright, young blue stars can be seen within its spiral arms. I, in addition to its striking appearance, the Black Eye Galaxy is also notable for its peculiar behavior. It contains an unusually large amount of dark matter concentrated in its central region, suggesting a complex gravitational interaction with nearby galaxies. Furthermore, M64 is a source of powerful radio emissions, likely originating from its active galactic nucleus, which is powered by a supermassive black hole at its core. Observations of the Black Eye Galaxy across different wavelengths of light, from radio waves to X-rays, have provided valuable insights into the processes shaping galaxies and the role of black holes in their evolution. The galaxy continues to be a subject of study and fascination for astronomers, offering a glimpse into the dynamic nature of the universe, Cigar Galaxy, M82, sure. Here's the corrected paragraph with proper punctuation. This is the secret cosmos of the Spitzer Space Telescope, investigating the wonders of infrared astronomy with your host, Dr. Robert Kurt, thanks to the collaboration of three of NASA's great observatories. However, astronomers researching the so-called Cigar Galaxy have discovered there is much more going on than meets the eye, which is why they have delved beyond merely visible light to explain this cosmic peculiarity. Sigmund Freud once complained that sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. While not exactly a next-door neighbor, the Cigar Galaxy, also known as M82, appears in the northern skies in the constellation of Ursa Major. It is roughly 12 million light-years away and, despite having a little cigar-like appearance, it is actually formed like a disk. We're only at the beginning of our exploration, starting with the Hubble Space Telescope, which released a stunning new image of M82 to mark its 60th birthday. This image exhibits a remarkable level of detail for what is visible to the human eye. We cannot see the star-filled disk because of dark dust lanes, and strange filaments of hot hydrogen gas reach far above and below the disk. 
In order to answer this question, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, which operates at the high energy end of the electromagnetic spectrum, used X-rays that were produced by million-degree gas that was possibly overheated by violent star-forming activity known as a starburst. In this small area of galaxies, core stars are forming 10 times faster than within the Milky Way galaxy combined. D and giant stars are exploding as supernovae approximately every 20 years. These blasts drive out the gas. The great surprise is the enormous dust tail that can be observed at longer wavelengths, which is visible all the way into the center starburst, thanks to the sunlight from M82 that shines through the dust with clarity. The dust is made of organic compounds similar to those found in car exhaust or on a barbecue grill. The cigar is indeed smoking, and its smoke reveals the same elements that make up planets, and even people, may be escaping into intergalactic space along with the GAS.SO what causes a nice galaxy to blow its top. It may be due to a dust-up with its neighbor, but it's more likely due to its co-evolution with another galaxy. As galaxies go, it has regular spiral arms, which is very typical. When we combine the X-ray, visible, and infrared data used for Chandra, Hubble, and Spitzer, we see this tortured galaxy in a way the human eye never could, star-like glow. Spitzer's infrared view shows its red tint of dust lines and orderly lanes along the spiral arms, not in chaotic hail alike. It may be two astronomers think that half a billion years ago, these two galaxies had a close encounter. The smoky dust is blue, and the hot gases are. The Spitzer Science Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena produces the Hidden Universe, which is a great observatory composite that shows this complex starburst galaxy and the materials it is recycling back into the universe at a glance. The Spitzer Space Telescope mission is run by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Milky Way Galaxy Shore Here's the corrected version with punctuation. The Sun, the nearest star to us, is one of billions of stars in the galaxy, but the planet surrounding it is special, it may be the most valuable planet in the cosmos. The only place known to support life is planet Earth. Our evolutionary journey as humans started on this lovely blue marble. However, we must leave the comfort of our home and journey far into the unknown, much like the daring explorers of old who braved to venture beyond their horizon. Our ultimate destination, the Milky Way galaxy's nucleus, is out there, past that immense luminous belt of gas and dust. The moon, the distanciest place humans have ever traveled, will come first. Then we must completely exit the solar system and go via the region between the stars, however, we will need to go beyond the bounds of possibility and exceed the speed of light in order to reach the galactic center. We need to move more quickly than anything has ever moved. Many ancient tales and legends back home were based on that spectral swath of light and gas up ahead. A silver river running through the heavens, the night support structure, a bird's flight path, and a goddess spilled milk. Nobody could have known the Milky Way galaxy's true makeup before the telescope was created. The Milky Way, which contains hundreds of billions of stars, gas, and dust, would appear as a massive spiral whether viewed from above or below. Our solar system is situated 26,000 light years from the galactic center, on the inside edge of one of its spiral arms. It would take the interstellar probe Voyager one more than 450 million years to travel there. But compared to earlier probes, we are moving considerably more quickly. Thousands of light years separate us from our solar system already. There is currently no going back, mostly due to the fact that we move many hundred light years every second. Every one of these fuzzy, brilliant dots that we are speeding past is a star, and on average, every star has at least one planet orbiting it some of which are about the size of Earth and dwell within the habitable zone. The existence of planets outside of our solar system that can support life is yet unknown. How commonplace or wonderful the Earth really is will only become clear with time, however, the galaxy is currently silent. Back home, there is the only life we are aware of. We have now traveled thousands of light years from our solar system. In fact, the Earth feels like a distant memory at this point. However, there is not much further to go because the Milky Way galaxy's core is contained within that luminous mass up ahead. You'll observe that stars are concentrating heavily around the galactic core as we go closer and closer. Typically, 
Stars in this region are only a few light weeks apart from one another. Unlike at home, where they are far apart, by many light years, in our neighborhood of galaxies, the stars here are so close together that if you were to stand on one of the planets in orbit, you would see a brilliant light show every night. An undetectable object is orbited by a swarm of bright, enormous stars that surrounds the galaxy's core, a giant in slumber. Many of these stars are traveling so quickly that they complete one rotation of this enigmatic object in just a few decades. The Sun travels more than 200 million years during this voyage. Our journey has traveled 26,000 light years and is almost over. Sagittarius A asterisk, our ultimate stop in the exact center of the Milky Way galaxy, is that brilliant light up ahead, the location of a supermassive black hole, a cosmic monster. The final result of gravity is Sagittarius A asterisk, which is arguably the most fascinating object in the galaxy. Its mass, which is 4.3 million times that of the Sun, is crammed into a space no larger than Mercury's orbit. The supermassive black hole itself, however, is not what we are seeing right now, rather, it is being surrounded by swirling, extremely hot material. The accretion disk, a thin flow of gas and dust that has not yet completely fallen into the supermassive black hole, is the name given to that whirling ring of debris, the event horizon, often known as the point of no return, is instead surrounded by a flattened band of spinning matter. The accretion disk, which is falling toward the supermassive black hole at the center, is also responsible for some of the tremendous jets that are shooting into space. A spinning black hole and the rapidly spinning material it is falling into produce magnetic fields that wound up into a twisted cone that extends millions of light years into space and extracts torrents of deadly radiation. We have now arrived at the destination of our excursion, into the chaotic center and core of the Milky Way galaxy. But this is a one-way excursion, precisely like the matter that passes through a black hole's event horizon. There is currently no going back. It's too far to go now. Did you like the long voyage to the center of the Milky Way galaxy from Earth? If you did, I'd appreciate it if you touched the like button, let me know in the comments, and think about subscribing. It greatly supports my channel and enables me to keep coming up with these grand cosmic experiences. I appreciate you watching, and if you're looking for a little more space, check out this movie on the undiscovered dwarf planets at the fringe of our solar system. I'll see you all again soon, Messier 33, Triangulum Galaxy, Messier 33, also known as the Triangulum Galaxy, is a magnificent spiral galaxy situated in the constellation Triangulum. It holds a prominent position in our cosmic neighborhood as one of the closest and largest members of the local group, a collection of galaxies that includes our own Milky Way Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy, Messier 31. Messier 33's discovery can be traced back to the 17th century, when Italian astronomer Giovanni Battista Hodiana first observed it. However, it was Charles Messier who independently rediscovered the galaxy in 1764 and added it to his renowned catalogue of celestial objects. Messier 33 is categorized as a spiral galaxy of the type SC, according to the Hubble sequence, which classifies galaxies based on their morphological characteristics. With a distance of approximately 3 million light years from Earth, Messier 33 is considered a relatively close galactic neighbor. Its proximity provides astronomers with an excellent opportunity to study the intricate details of its structure and formation. In terms of size, Messier 33 spans a vast expanse of space. Its stellar disk extends over 60,000 light years, making it approximately two-thirds the size of our Milky Way galaxy. This immense scale allows Messier 33 to host billions of stars, as well as numerous star clusters, nebulae, and other intriguing features. One remarkable aspect of Messier 33 is its striking spiral arms, which are beautifully defined and intricately woven. These arms showcase a wealth of star-forming regions, where dense clouds of gas and dust give birth to new generations of stars. These regions are particularly active, producing numerous massive, young, and hot stars that illuminate the galaxy's vibrant structure. Observations of Messier 33 have revealed a wealth of star clusters and associations within its boundaries. These clusters, ranging in age and size, 
contribute to the galaxy's stellar population and hold valuable information about its evolution over time. Furthermore, Messier 33 exhibits a large number of nebulae, including emission nebulae that glow due to the ionization of surrounding gas by hot, young stars. These nebulae, along with the galaxy's abundance of open star clusters, add to its picturesque appearance and provide researchers with valuable insights into the processes shaping its evolution. Despite its proximity and grandeur, Messier 33 has faced challenges in its study due to its relatively low surface brightness. Its diffuse nature has made it more challenging to observe and analyze in detail. Nonetheless, advances in observational techniques and instruments have allowed astronomers to delve deeper into the mysteries of this captivating galaxy. Overall, Messier 33, the Triangulum Galaxy, stands as a remarkable cosmic entity within our celestial neighborhood. Its close proximity, vast size, intricate spiral arms, and rich stellar and nebular populations make it an intriguing subject for astronomical exploration and a captivating sight in the night sky, Small Magellanic Clouds. The Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, is a fascinating dwarf irregular galaxy that lies in the southern hemisphere of the sky, predominantly within the constellation Tucana. Positioned approximately 200,000 light-years away from our own Milky Way galaxy, the SMC is one of our closest galactic neighbors. Spanning a diameter of around 7,000 light-years, the SMC exhibits a unique irregular shape, likely influenced by gravitational interactions with its larger companion, the Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, as well as the Milky Way itself, the SMC is a region of active star formation and hosts a diverse range of astronomical objects and phenomena. It boasts an abundance of massive star-forming regions, often referred to as H2 regions, which are composed of dense clouds of gas and dust where new stars are born. These regions are associated with stunning emission nebulae, such as the well-known Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doradus, which is one of the largest and most active star-forming regions in our local group of galaxies within the SMC. There are numerous stellar clusters containing young, hot stars. Some of these clusters, such as NGC 602 and NGC 346, have been extensively studied to understand the processes of star formation, stellar evolution, and the interaction between massive stars and their surroundings. Additionally, the SMC is home to various types of variable stars, including Cepheid variables. These pulsating stars have played a crucial role in measuring cosmic distances and establishing the cosmic distance ladder, enabling us to determine the scale of the universe. The SMC also possesses an abundant supply of interstellar gas and dust, which plays a vital role in the cycle of star formation and the chemical enrichment of galaxies. Through detailed observations of the SMC's interstellar medium, astronomers gain insights into the dynamics of gas clouds, the formation of molecular clouds, and the process of enriching the galaxy with heavy elements forged in the cores of stars. A S A result of its proximity, the Small Magellanic Cloud serves as an exceptional laboratory for studying galaxy evolution and provides valuable opportunities to explore the mechanisms driving star formation, stellar populations, and the interaction between galaxies. Scientists use a variety of observational techniques, including optical, infrared, and radio telescopes, to study the SMC in detail and unravel its secrets. The SMC's unique properties and proximity continue to make it a captivating object of study and contribute to our understanding of the broader universe. Black Eye Galaxy The Black Eye Galaxy spiral arms exhibit a stunning bluish hue, indicating the presence of numerous young, hot stars. These regions are rich in star-forming activity, with massive stars being born from the gravitational collapse of molecular clouds. The galaxy's outer regions also showcase a mix of old and yo. Young stars, offering valuable insights into its evolutionary history. Point one of the intriguing aspects of the Black Eye Galaxy is the presence of an unusual phenomenon known as a counter-rotating disk. Unlike most galaxies, where the stars and gas all rotate in the same direction, M64 has a disk component that appears to rotate in the opposite direction to the rest of the galaxy. This peculiarity has led scientists to propose various theories to explain its origin, 
including past interactions with smaller satellite galaxies or the accretion of material with different angular momentum. I, in addition to its captivating appearance, the Black Eye Galaxy has also served as an important target for scientific research. Astronomers have extensively studied its structure, dynamics, and star formation processes to deepen our understanding of galaxy evolution. By analyzing the distribution and motion of stars and gas within M64, scientists can unravel the intricate interplay between gravitational forces, galactic dynamics, and the formation of new stars, observations of the Black Eye Galaxy across different wavelengths of light, from radio waves to X-rays, have revealed a wealth of information about its various components. For example, radio observations have detected the presence of a strong radio source in the galaxy's nucleus, indicating the presence of an active galactic nucleus, AGN. AGNs are powered by supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies, which accrete surrounding material and emit intense radiation. Furthermore, studies of the Black Eye Galaxy have provided valuable insights into the nature of spiral galaxies in general. Its unique features and structures have challenged existing theories and prompted astronomers to refine their models of galaxy formation and evolution. By comparing the Black Eye Galaxy with other galaxies of similar characteristics, scientists can piece together a more comprehensive understanding of the underlying physical processes that govern the development of galaxies across the universe. The Black Eye Galaxy has also been a target of interest for amateur astronomers. Its relatively bright and easily recognizable appearance makes it a popular object for astrophotography and visual observation. Amateur astronomers armed with telescopes can admire the intricate details of the galaxy's dust lanes and spiral arms, enhancing their appreciation of the vastness and beauty of the cosmos. To gain a deeper understanding of the Black Eye Galaxy, astronomers have employed advanced observational techniques, including spectroscopy and imaging with space based telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope. These observations have allowed scientists to measure the chemical composition of the galaxy's stars, map its regions of active star formation, and study the dynamics of its gas and dust. The Black Eye Galaxy's proximity to Earth, coupled with its distinctive appearance and intriguing characteristics, has made it an excellent target for studies ranging from galactic dynamics and star formation to cosmology and dark matter research. Its ongoing exploration continues to provide valuable insights into the fundamental processes that shape galaxies and the cosmos as a whole. In conclusion, the Black Eye Galaxy, or Messier 64, is a captivating spiral galaxy located 17 million light years away in the constellation Coma Berenices. Its striking appearance, characterized by a dark dust lane crossing its bright core, has earned it its popular name. With its unique structure, counter rotating disk, and active star-forming regions, the Black Eye Galaxy has provided astronomers with valuable insights into the processes of galaxy formation and evolution. Through meticulous observations and advanced imaging techniques, scientists have further unraveled the galaxy's mysteries, contributing to our broader understanding of the cosmos. Whether admired by amateur astronomers or scrutinized by researchers, the Black Eye Galaxy stands as a testament to the beauty and complexity of the universe we inhabit. Pinwheel Galaxy The Pinwheel Galaxy, also known as Messier 101 or M101, is a prominent spiral galaxy located in the constellation Ursa Major. Discovered by Pierre McCain in 1781 and later catalogued by Charles Messier, this grand design spiral galaxy is a member of the Virgo supercluster, situated approximately 21 million light-years away from Earth. With its well-defined spiral structure, the Pinwheel Galaxy captivates observers with its graceful arms extending from a luminous central region. Its size is notable, boasting a diameter of around 170,000 light-years, which is roughly double the size of our Milky Way galaxy. The Pinwheel Galaxy stands out as one of the brightest galaxies visible from our planet, with an apparent magnitude of 7.9. Even amateur astronomers can observe its splendor with modest telescopes when the sky conditions are optimal. Point one of the captivating aspects of M101 is its active star formation. Within its spiral arms, we find regions teeming with young, hot, and massive stars, illuminating the galaxy with their brilliance. These areas are characterized by pinkish hues, representing ionized hydrogen gas clouds where ongoing star formation occurs. Moreover, the Pinwheel Galaxy has earned a reputation for its frequent supernova events. 
Over the years, several of these spectacular stellar explosions have been recorded within M101, attracting astronomers who study these extraordinary phenomena. In summary, the Pinwheel Galaxy, or Messier 101, is a captivating spiral galaxy in Ursa Major, known for its well defined structure, substantial size, brightness, active star formation, and recurring supernova events. Its celestial beauty continues to fascinate astronomers and stargazers alike, providing insights into the vastness and wonder of the universe. Hope you found this video informative. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time with more engaging content like this. Goodbye.